Okay, ordinarily this would not be worth making a production out of. I'm sure everybody remembers this thing. If you don't, well, it's this. You can go watch the video that I have linked in the video description, which basically talks all about it. Uh, in about two months, I will be making a, an updated review video of this thing, where I talk about how it works and what I think about it, really. But uh, at this particular point in time, I think you'll agree that it is well and truly time to change batteries. But I'm still not so sure I'm a fan of G cell batteries, really. Okay, I found it. It wasn't where I last had it. Somebody must have borrowed it and didn't put it back where it was. So it wouldn't be a first time. So let's see if I can get these batteries out of this thing. Take all of them out. We'll test all of them. See if it's all of them that have worn down equally, or if one of them has worn down more than all the others. Like I said, somebody's probably gonna get upset with me for using a multimeter to do this test, but it's more than good enough for a quick and dirty test. Obviously, if you want to check whether the battery is good or not, you want to use a battery tester. But this is just to give me a rough idea, since I'm gonna be replacing the batteries anyways, I can pretty clearly tell the batteries are no good when this thing doesn't spin very fast, at least not as fast as it did when it was when I first installed the batteries. So they have a maximum voltage of 1.5. This meter is a piece of crap. I really need to go get a better meter, but like I said, it's good enough for this. So this one, <laughs> yeah, that one's toast. There's about 150 millivolts. Now these are dirty cell batteries, so I don't really have a high opinion of these. That one measures 922 millivolts, that's a little better. Again, it measures 900 millivolts, or thereabouts. And 900 millivolts, so they all measure around, well the three of them measure around the same, and this one has obviously worn down to being completely useless. Um, so these ones I'm probably going to put in my spare bin. And this one, of course, is totally junk. I shouldn't keep any of them because they're Duracell batteries and these things tend to leak very early on. So we can turn that off because we don't need that anymore. And in the box, I had, had the foresight to buy two packages of batteries. Probably gonna be buying two more packages of batteries because if these things only last a month. Well, that's not really all that great now, is it? When I'm not here. I don't think that really opened, did it? Oh, it did. Well. Of course, I am the biggest fan of banning these stupid blister pack things. That would be nice. We could ban these. I really don't like them. Of course, they're only, they're only in existence because Walmart and people stealing things. They just make your product look cheap, man. Duracell batteries should not be cheap. Where are they made? Are they made in China? I think they're made in China. Nope, assembled in the USA. They used to be made in China. At least they were for a while. Now, is this going to work? Yes, it is. So we'll give a demonstration of that. I remember when I first put this together, I had some issues with the battery cover, with the battery compartments and being loose. I don't know about you, but that's a lot better. So that's it. This is a quick little video. It wasn't really worth even making, but there you go. And it's even an HD 60 FPS, so how's that?